All the teachers are telling us to run, run, go. 2018, Santa Fe High School. 10 killed, 13 injured by a 17-year-old student. She's in stable condition. My dad is still fighting for his life. 2019 El Paso Walmart shooting. 23 killed, 22 injured by a 21-year-old gunman. Sick in the head. I just, I don't know what he was trying to get out of it. 2019 Midland, Odessa. 7 killed, 25 injured by a 36-year-old gunman. You can tell that he had ill intent and nobody stopped him. 2022, Rob Elementary, Nuvalde. 21 killed, 17 injured by an 18-year-old gunman who was able to obtain two assault rifles and hundreds of rounds of ammunition in just three days. Fox and Antonio obtained exclusive videos from the Oasis showing the teen inside the gun store just days after turning 18, the legal age to purchase these types of weapons in Texas. We showed the video to some of the parents who lost their children inside Robb Elementary. They were in shock to see that it only took about 40 minutes for the shooter to buy the weapons that would end the lives of 19 children and two of their teachers. It's ridiculous how easy it is to access that weapon. Javier Cáceres' daughter, Jacqueline, was killed inside her classroom with her friends. He, along with other parents of Uvalde victims, are advocating to change the age limit to buy weapons from 18 to 21. At 18 years old, I wasn't even thinking about an AR-15. I, I signed up to go in the Army. It's irritating that those 41 minutes cost my son the rest of his life, you know? 41 minutes. Red Cross, who lost his son, Isaiah Garcia, watched the video. He's also supporting legislation to establish a 30-day waiting period. Watching that footage, I was like, if I didn't know who he was, I would have thought, hey, he's about to shoot up the school. I mean, just so stereotypical of the attributes and the look and everything like that. I mean, you can tell he's not there for any good. But a forensic psychiatrist tells us there were indicators before the shooter walked into this Uvalde gun store. These exclusive FBI documents show other kids in his chat groups were concerned about his behavior. He was bullied uh, in part because he had a lisp. He wants to be famous, also made specific statements about being a school shooter, specifically made the statement, you know, when you read about me in the paper, you'll remember I said this. Dr. Philip Resnick specializes in violence, risk, and school shooters at Case Western University in Ohio. Dr. Resnick says school shooters are planners, and that allows time for intervention. But the key to preventing these tragedies, someone needs to speak up. So even though the online compatriots were aware of all this, none of them felt uh, that it was serious enough to call. But in this case, according to the FBI documents, the kids were more worried about getting rid of messages during and after the shooting. One of the kids interviewed was especially fearful of the shooter since he had allegedly threatened to kill them and violate their body afterward. But again, no one reported it. I wonder if there's also any kind of sense of squealing that people are reluctant when they learn something like this to report it to police. And again, FBI documents show nothing was reported when the shooter allegedly sent the group a picture proving he bought a weapon. Of course, the, the aphorism is see something, say something, so that people should overcall it rather than undercall it when especially the receipt for the gun came out. For Casares and Cross, parents need to have an honest conversation with their children about speaking up before another school tragedy happens again. It's happening too many times to where people should get it by now that it's not right. You know, you gotta look for those signs and speak up. You hear something, you know, you see something, say something. Don't be scared to get involved because you could protect people. These children's lives were worth more than 
somebody being afraid to stop somebody from purchasing a weapon. Had he not been able to purchase that gun, my kid would still be here. 18 other kids would still be here. Two teachers would still be here. 17 vi uh, survivors would not have been injured. Demi Virgen, Fox News at 9.